Welcome to our Impact Across Asia video series, where today we will be discussing Pride Month, a globally celebrated campaign. In this video, we'll be diving into the history of Pride, its significance in Asia, what Pride means to us today, and allyship. So let me briefly introduce where Pride Month comes from. The first Pride was held in New York City in June 1970 to commemorate the Stonewall Movement that took place the previous year. The Stonewall Movement were a series of protests by members of the LGBT plus community against police harassment and discrimination. The movement marked a turning point in the LGBT plus rights movement and inspired many individuals to fight for their rights and freedom. Following the success of the first Pride, other cities around the world began to hold their own Pride events. These events provided a platform for LGBT plus individuals to come together to celebrate their identity and advocate for their basic rights just to be their authentic selves. Over years, Pride has become a global movement where millions of people participating in parades, marches, and festivals around the world. Pride has also become a symbol of hope and empowerment for the LGBT plus community and a reminder for all of us that their identities are still valid, deserving of respect. However, discrimination and violence against LGBT plus individuals still exist in many parts of the world, and we must continue to advocate for their rights and freedoms. The LGBT plus landscape in Asia significantly varies. On one side, we have extremely progressive markets, such as Taiwan, being the first market in Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. On the other side, we have the most conservative of markets, including Brunei, which penalizes sexual relations. Colonial hangover also impacts this with former British colonial unlawful penal code, Section 377A, still criminalizing anal intercourse in Bangladesh, Malaysia, Myanmar, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. This code is still used to target homosexuality. However, on the bright side, there are developments that give hope that Asia is heading step by step towards full equality. This includes the recent expansion of adoption rights for same-sex couples in Taiwan, LGBTQ couples fighting for the legalization of same-sex marriage in India, the repeal of Section 377A in Singapore and the ruling that requiring transgender people to complete full sex reassignment surgery in order to amend their gender on IDs is unconstitutional. These indicate that justice prevails. Though the progression towards inequality is slow, this is built upon many efforts among the human rights activists who have fought behind the scenes in order for us to see such progression. So what does Pride Month mean to us nowadays as individuals? Pride Month is an opportunity to raise awareness about the challenges and discrimination that LGBT plus community continues to face. It is a time to educate ourselves and others about the struggles that members of this community have had to endure just to be their authentic selves. This awareness raising is crucial in driving progress toward a more inclusive and accepting society. Pride Month is also a time to celebrate the contribution that LGBT plus individuals have made to our society. The LGBT plus community has enriched our culture, our arts, technology. There are many extraordinary LGBT plus individuals who made huge contribution to humanity, but their stories were overlooked or marginalized because it was not fitting into the dominant narrative of history. It's time for us to recognize, to appreciate the contribution that they have made and are still making 
such as watch an LGBT plus movie, a movie made by an LGBT plus creator, and tell people how you feel about that, so that more and more stories of the LGBT plus leader can be heard, and there will be more and more role models from the community that the next generation can learn from and look up to. Pride Month is a time to show support for the LGBT plus community. Your LGBT plus friend and family's member can only be their authentic self when we provide them a safe and accepting space for them. By celebrating Pride Month, we can let the community members to know that they are valued and respected. And this is the responsibility of every single one of us to be vocal and visible when we celebrate Pride Month. The importance of promoting Pride and LGBT inclusion in the workplace can be seen with the following five perspectives. Creating an inclusive corporate culture is essential in today's workplace as people spend more than nine hours a day at work. It is crucial to create a culture where individuals can be themselves. A safe and inclusive workplace can improve employee well-being attract and retain talent, boost collaboration, and increase productivity. And LGBT plus inclusive workplaces can boost recruitment and retention of talent. Many job seekers consider an organization's commitment to diversity and inclusion when deciding whether to work for the company. Studies show that inclusivity matters to job seekers and an inclusive workplace will be a key factor in retaining employees. An LGBT plus inclusive workplace can make LGBT plus individuals feel energized, respected, and valued, which will lead to increased job satisfaction and retention. Inclusive workplaces can also lead to a more collaborative workforce and increased productivity. LGBT plus individuals who often need to come out must have a high EQ to read the room and choose the moment to come up. This sensitivity can lead to a more compassionate and empathetic individuals who can boost a collaborative workforce. By understanding their strengths, identity, and what they can bring to the workplace, LGBT plus individuals can increase productivity and realize their full potential. Inclusive workplaces can also improve business relationship and reputation. Many LGBT plus employees believe that a greater workplace inclusion translates into business opportunities for their companies. If employers can capitalize on these opportunities, they could become a great ambassador for the organization and talk about the brand as an LGBT plus inclusive organization in the public. Creating a safe space within the team for effective interaction and communication is also essential. This will eventually boost a sense of belonging in the team, leading to an increased collaboration and productivity. Individuals can also be allies in the fight for equality by educating themselves and others. Being vocal about their support for the LGBT plus community and standing up against discrimination and hate. We can all take steps to promote inclusivity in our personal and professional lives. For example, we can attend Pride events, donate to LGBT plus organizations, and speak out against discrimination and hate speech. It's also crucial to recognize the intersectionality of the LGBT plus community. LGBT plus individuals can face discrimination and oppression not only based on their sexual orientation or gender identity, but also based on their race, ethnicity, religion, disability and other factors. It's essential to promote inclusivity and equality for all individuals regardless of their background. Organizations can promote inclusivity through policies and practices, provide training and education to employees, and advocate for LGBT plus organizations and events. For example, 
Companies can implement gender-neutral bathrooms, provide healthcare benefits to same-sex partners of their employees, and offer diversity and inclusion training to their employees. It is essential to create a safe and inclusive environment where all employees feel welcome, valued, and belong. We are excited to share more findings and insights of the best practices of LGBT plus inclusion efforts in the upcoming launch of the 2023 Hong Kong and Singapore LGBT plus inclusion index report, where our organization can learn and implement the best practices to enhance organization's commitment towards tackling workplace inequalities towards the LGBT plus community.